strap in and hang on. We're heading baby. straight up. Talk about the shelf roads, man. This thing goes straight down. Yeah. Straight down. Gotta love it. Yep. On both sides. Woo, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Okay, hopefully we just finished this summit. I forgot to film up there. Uh, W6, TED and I are on a different mission today. Um, so I want to apologize to those chasers that really wanted to get a contact with us and couldn't. On that particular one, I ran 20 meters and uh, Ted ran VHF. He was overrun with contacts. So as soon as I was done with 20, we packed up and left. So on the next one, Ted and I are gonna try to do, one guy do 40, the other one do 20. And that way everybody has a chance for the summit chase wise. Um, Ted and I really like uh, setting up on a summit, kicking back, chasing other guys, uh, working all the bands, etc. But today, the mission's a little bit different. Um, I don't have the GoPro. <laughs> That's one thing. Forgot it. Our mission is see if we can hit all five of these along this ridge. Check out this chart very target rich environment all along this road this might be the longest hike for today um, i'll put the elevation climb and distance it's 0.9 miles i don't remember what the elevation climb is on this one uh, but yeah we just finished number one post Beatles, and uh, we're heading back to over to Cherbuco, i think is the name of it and uh see what we can do there i'll spare you the spare you all the QSOs. You're basically just going to see the victory dances up here. But uh, yeah, completely different mission. It's hopefully it'll be fun. It's a beautiful, oh my god, it's a beautiful day. Crystal clear. We're over Lake Elsinore over here. So, all right, Ted, what do we got here? Okay, out here we have Thomas Mountain. There's Apache, Takeets, San Jacinto, across the San Andreas Fault over to San Gorgonio. Yep. Beautiful and, view today. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. And I'm not sure you guys, you can probably see this trail. This is where uh, Ted and I are headed uh, over to Trabuco. It might be that one right in front of us. I'm not I'm sure. I'm guessing it's that dirt road going across. Yeah, and it's one of those two peaks that you're looking at right now um, is our next one. The third one is going to be San... Uh, Jessica, San Santiago. Santiago up there with all the antennas. That'll definitely be a drive up. We'll head up there, we'll crank out 20 and 40, and then we'll move on to the next one. So, that's the mission for today. All right. What do you think no. so far, man? I'm doing great. All right, let's, let's get go. it done. All right. Let's go. All right. We're in the uh, uh, Ted's overlanding Toyota 4Runner here. Adventure Beyond 60, baby. Yeah. Yeah, Ted has a channel, Adventure Beyond 60. You gotta check it out, um, especially his upcoming videos. Alaska, Alaska, Yukon Territory, Northwest Territories, and the Arctic Ocean. Yeah, so, yeah, check his channel out. Uh, link in the description below. Uh, sorry for the, the... The video today is on the iPhone. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be an adventure. See if we can't get um, all five of these done before 5 p.m. Pacific time, which is 2400 UTC. So we want to get it done in a single UTC day, just for the fun of it. A little bit different mission, like I said. Uh, there's there's Lake Elsinore. But yeah, here we go. On to the next one. All right, a nice view of uh, Lake Elsinore down there. Yeah, it's beautiful. Really nice view. 
crystal clear. We got some breeze today. We came along, came in over there. there. Yep, that whole, this whole ridge will zoom in. Hope that you can yep. see coming around that hill, coming down through here and up. This is summit number two. Yeah. And uh, this is the overlanding vehicle. All right, while W6TED is strapping in, strap in and hang on. We're heading baby. straight up. Straight up the rocks. Yeah, so. Yes, summit indeed. number two. Let's get her done. Up we go. Well done. Yeah, a little brush on the way up, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Spill a little blood on the mountain. Yep. Hey, we're already set up here. I got the radio set up. I got this thing strapped to my leg. Because, you know, the camera needs to love the strap on. So, busy. we're going to get a summit to summit here. So let's get Loreen. Got him. We're getting both Mike and Laureen summit to summit. Okay, we're back at the car and we're heading over to that thing with all the antennas, all the antennas on antennas it. On Santiago, it. that's it. That is crazy. Yeah, there's going to be a little RF up there. 50 antennas up there. So yeah. maybe not two meter, but uh, we're going to rock 20 and 40 for sure. Um, we, we screwed up. We should have, we should have uh, spotted 40 up here. But we were chasing. We did screw up. We got well. I said well. I told people we're gonna we're gonna do twenty and forty. Yeah, it's just we didn't um, expect to activate on summit to summit. Yeah, so we got four summit to summits right off the bat, and then a fifth one I think, right? Yep. And uh, yeah, and I heard uh, and um, XI. So uh, there's another one there. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah, you heard Jeff, but we didn't make contact. Yeah, so anyway, yep. we're off to the next one. Talk about shelf roads, man. This thing goes straight down. Yeah. Straight down. Gotta love it. Yep. On both sides. Woo, look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's crazy. This is kind of nice. We got into some oaks here. There's some, there's some hairy trail on the way up, but this is really pretty. Pin turn here. Great views, all directions. Beautiful, beautiful day. day. Yeah. There is the summit. Yeah, we'll be in the AZ by noon. Um, so we're on track to Fabulous Five here. As long as uh, Ted doesn't screw the pooch here on the road. <laughs> That's right. Alright, just about into the AZ. Final, final push on the ascent. We're gonna set up 2040, get the chairs out, rock and roll. Well, 12 o'clock, made it. This is Antenna City here. Bunch back here. There's some on the other side of this hill for me. There's this guy, and there's some over there. Man, I, I can't even count them all. But a uh, really incredible view at the top here. This, uh, out there. the repeaters off the summit, we can both get to from San Diego at our homes. Huh. And then way up north. How far north can you go and I hit this? I have the no service. Oh, I can, I get the repeater here when I, when I come up the grapevines. The first thing I, I hit when I come up from the Central Valley on I-5. Just as you come up to the top of the grapevine, I start getting... Uh, the repeater from Santiago here. Yeah, really this, awesome this just, coverage. This is just an amazing place for radio in Southern California. Right off the grapevine. Okay, well, we're going to set up and get cracking.
the noise on 40 is S4 right now, so it's going to be a little tough getting uh, weak signals in here on 40. We got 5.9 on that one. Yeah, we're getting out okay. It's just you're not going to pick up the weak signals. There's Peter. It's Peter. Okay, cold sandwiches, beer. Uh, I got some Gatorade. We're, you know, pizza. Yeah, this is and, how we uh, roll, man. And some uh, soda water, flavored soda water from Trader Joe's. Gotta love it. All right, so that is summit number three. We're heading over to number four here. Um, just gorgeous out here. Put this thing up to keep the sun off my face, but yeah. It's, uh, Easy peasy. Ted worked uh, 40 worked meter and 12 meter. Yeah. I worked 20 meter. Um, got one summit to summit in there, so thanks. thanks and uh, so, yeah. yeah, thanks to George KX0R. Thanks, man. So, we're going to head over to the next one. What's the name of it? Remember? Majeska. Majeska. So, we're, we're going to Majeska. We're going to Majeska. The two summits together make up what's called Saddleback. Two summons together, to saddle back, just so you know. Anyway, we're out of here. Yep. Back on the shelf. Oof, this is an epic drop off, man. Just a little bit rough. All right, Ted's whipping those ponies. This is our summit right up here on the right hand side and uh, we may have to walk from like this point on but puts us within a mile or less of the summit. So. There he goes. Half goat. Made half a goat the other day. That's 500 points on his way to a thousand. Today he's gonna get him down the road just a little bit farther. We, we uh, nail all five of these summits. That's 20 something points. So yeah, beautiful doggone day. Still beautiful. S slight breeze, perfect weather. A little bit warm, but with the breeze makes it nice. So we're gonna hike up this. I think it'll be less than a half mile. We drove up just a little bit. Decided to stop back there. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Here's the chart. Here's what we're looking at. We're right here at this fork. Um, I don't know, I'm all for hooking around just a half mile. All right. Hello. Let's try, let's try this. All right. Ted says let's do it. He's definitely destined to be a goat. I'm guessing a 30% incline. What's that? I'm guessing 30%. At least, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oof. Well, we're halfway to this first pitch anyway. All right. All right, just Sup? wrapped up on Majeska. Number four, Number dude, four. we're killing it. We and got one more to go. 232. 232, I think we can do it in this we'll UTC see. day. We'll see, uh, there you go. we go. Yeah, the uh, Overlander's got to get it done. Yeah, we do. All right. Okay, let's get it in. All right, I can see the vehicle from here. Yeah, let's pack yeah, up and get yeah, out of here. Let's get the yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're walking down a little bit different way. Um, Ted and I think we could have probably driven up here on the, this this road so we thought well let's walk down the road instead of down that really steep part and just see so uh the bonus here is we're treated to a really nice view of the valley there with lake elsinore is that elsinore uh i think uh no is elsinore off to the right over there Okay, what's that one? Um, I think you're right. 
Is that diamond? That could be diamond. It might be diamond like, yeah. It's too small to be able to sit over. I don't know. Yeah, that's diamond, I think. into another ecosystem as we come out of the kind of the scabby desert up into pine trees and grass and gotta love California you never know what's around the next bend nice and cool in here too just cooled off made in the shade yeah, we're about a mile, I think, from the summit, so we're almost there. And uh, no way could the Ham Ninja vehicle do this. This is a, a Jeep overlanding vehicle, access only. And I gotta tell you, this, uh, this rig of Ted's is killer, man. It just crawls right up. So what do you think, Ted? I think this is awesome. You know, I've, I've looked at these mountains for a long time and uh, never been up and cruised around in here. This has been a lot of fun. Great stuff. Um, easy for this vehicle. It's not super technical, but man, what a beautiful day. Just been awesome. And look, there it is, Pleasant's Peak right there. I, I hit that repeater from, from home. I use that repeater a lot. I, I don't know why, but I like that repeater. It works real well. And uh, so I, all the way from San Diego, I hooked into this one. I was wondering, as we were on our way out, I said, I wonder if we're actually going to hit Pleasant's Peak. Sure enough. Or maybe it's up here. Yeah, actually. it's right I'm here. I'm pointing at the right one. There well, it is. Yeah. Yep. The thing is, uh, the other thing that's hard to convey is the fact that we're on these ledge roads that are shelf roads shelf roads that are absolutely straight down. I mean, we're on, it's on my side now. I mean, th this is one hell of a drop. Uh, yeah, this, this is, this is some rugged, rugged country, but so far the, uh, the overlanding vehicle here is just, yeah, it just crawls right up. It really doesn't complain. Ted's got a Ted's got a perfect vehicle for doing this, oh. but uh, yeah, Jeep or overlanding setup for sure on this. And because it's the middle of the week, um, both Ted and I got the day off, so <laughs> uh, definitely would not want to do this during the middle of the week with, I mean, the weekend with, um, you know, a lot of people that only have the weekend off and then try out their their, their their new overlanding the jeeps and everything else it'd be tough to negotiate around some around other vehicles i mean somebody's backing up in these babies There's, there is not a lot of passing space for long periods of time on these roads it's tight it's very tight yeah Up here on the summit of Pleasant's Peak, we are doing the second activation in our 24 hour period as we are now past 00 Zulu. Got him. Five, five, nine. Gotta love this antenna, random wire. K6ARK, gotta love it. Gotta love it, it's a great antenna. And of course the adventure paddle from 
Bagali. Bagali. This thing's awesome. It is an amazing paddle. Worth every penny, without a doubt. Ted, thanks. Hey, man. Thanks we for bringing it. me up here, we man. Did we did it. Five? five? Five in one day. Yeah. That was, that was, uh, that that was, was epic. Amazing. It, it was, was epic. It was epic. It was totally and, epic. And, and it was an epic day in general. It was oh, so yeah. beautiful out here yeah, today. Yeah, it's still gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. So, so couldn't have picked a better day to do it in October. Yeah. And we got up here just in time before the UTC day ended. Yep. Um, activated on FM. Then we got on Made HF. Actually, in the next UTC day, yep. which basically yep. gives us yep. act, two yep. activations, but yep. five activations in one in the one UTC day, which is really we started our first activation at 9 a.m. I think, right? Roughly, yeah, yeah. yeah. We left. So, we, well, you left your house at 6:02 this morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it so, was. It's been yeah, a day. We still have to get home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's but, been over uh, 11 hours. So. Uh, yeah Man, we got a long way to go yeah and yeah. this guy's operating the machine so yeah, he's got, got some work ahead of him but anyway of us still. yeah this was a, a really fun soda expedition um we had different goals this one which is can we get five yeah and uh yeah we did yeah we so did. i'm yeah, pretty we stoked managed to pick a few summits summits along the way and yeah yeah so you know it's it was still a still a great day for activating it's just you know it wasn't a sit down and work as many people as you can on every band possible but, right yeah but uh yeah but, you know still we jumped around i worked 12 on one summit and made a lot of contacts with that and, and mm -hmm. uh, i worked 40 a lot just to catch the people locally here that that have uh, been supporting us so yeah generally ted yeah. worked 40 so we could get some of the local guys that he knows then i would jump on and do 20. if we had a summit to summit we'd pass the paddle back and forth yep. Yep. we did some chasing on the first or second summit yep so quickly chasing guys and then oh, we, we activated skedaddled. that summit we activated that summit just doing summit to summit yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. that was that, that was, was pretty good. epic yeah. so yeah want to so, say thanks to um all the chasers and absolutely. all the other guys on summits uh, that make this hobby so fun yeah and also a special shout out to kx6i who actually did the first four peaks yesterday i called him up and i'm like hey jeff are the because these gates are normally closed and they're open and they're closed and it's really hard so we jumped on it immediately as soon as we found out the gates were open we wanted to i've been wanting to hit these four for three years now so um yeah, yeah. and hey really... we did three summits on sunday one summit yesterday tuesday and five summits today oh yeah rough that's nine summits it's rough. in three it's rough. days that's pretty good our, our bosses are going to be pissed when we get back yeah, to they work are. they're going to really be pissed <laughs> what's work yeah i don't know i don't know hey anyway i'm going to close it out here yep. we're going to head down the head down the mountain i hope you enjoyed it uh even though i didn't have drone shots if you want to learn more about the hobby uh, go to hamninja.com or I have a four part video on how to activate also, which is what we're doing right now, or far for uh, a couple part series or one part series on how to chase. Uh, go to hamninja.com slash SOTA 360. Thanks a lot, guys. And if you want to learn more about long distance overlanding travel, go to Adventure Beyond 60, Adventure Beyond 60 on YouTube. And, uh, Pretty soon I'll have uh, our whole epic Alaska, Yukon uh, Territory, Northwest that's gonna Territory be series going all the way up to the Arctic Ocean, 98 days of camping. Yeah. So uh, that should be good. But we've got a lot of other great content up there. So please, if that interests you at all, really appreciate it if you yeah. come over and subscribe. Check it. Yeah, check his channel out. Yeah. So we'll cut it off there. We'll put the links in the description. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. 73, and let's roll the credits. 73. All right. Hey, Ted, what do you have in this uh, fancy dang cooler of yours? Well, this, this cooler is for essentials. Oh. It's, survi it's a survival kit, you know, and, and uh, you need to keep things fresh. You need to keep things cold, such as Voodoo oh, Ranger. A little Voodoo Ranger there. Yes, indeed. So uh, well, I think we're going to... Well deserved after after a uh, five summit day. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I think baby. I'll take one of those. There you go. Thanks, man. Uh -huh.